guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting for me to episode 6 of season 2 of Princess Connect Redive, BTW. I am sorry that this is a couple of days late, so, um, when I came home on Monday for Valentine's Day, after working my ass off, um, I, <laughs> I took a nap, and I didn't want to take a nap, but I took a nap, and it was late by the time I woke up, so I literally took a shower <laughs> and went back to bed. So now here we are on a Wednesday trying to get this ish done. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 6 in 3, 2, 1, go. Is my bag over there? Yeah, but it's a little far away. I didn't think she was gonna show up today. <gasps> oh, stop it! <laughs> oh my god. I freaking love her. I didn't get her in my English account, but I got her in my Japanese account. And then, um, there was an event with her. And another girl that I think she's partnered with. And it gave me like hella pretty here vibes to the point where I went on Twitter. I like screen recorded the whole ending song that was on YouTube and shit. And I was like, oh my god, like look at the faces how pretty here. And it was so funny that like two people fell for it. And I was like, no, this is Princess Connect. <laughs> but it was so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> See, that just makes me hungry. Well, I'm going to, of course, eat after this. Yep, 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 yep. Mm hmm. Because I am hungry. My son. That's crazy. Well, because it's peppering. Come on now. It's either one of two things. Peppering is either thinking about food or she's thinking about saving her kingdom or she's afraid uh, every single time that people are going to forget about her. So that's three things. all the time. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine if I was watching this Monday on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Well, happy day, right?
Who are you looking for? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch his face. <laughs> Drunken <and> girl. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> Drugs. Mhm. Mm Drugs. Uh okay. Oh, you cute. And there she is. What if the freaking bits the books had hot guys in it? Like god dang Yuki Wait, Monica. Mm. The hell? But hold on, wait. Isn't that just Chris's armor, though? Mm, great. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Okay, um, Princess Connect's version of 2B, mm-hmm. She's right.
There's Chris. <laughs> well, you know, Chris has been busy with her own things, like Jesus. Exactly. And then Kula, you know. Mm hmm. I literally could not. <laughs> oh, poor baby. I love her so much. <laughs> So you're telling me the little toy thing is the night destroying people at night? Oh, it's hope so.
They're going to be digging all night. Monica, how sure are we about this? There's nothing. Oh. Oh! Her voice is familiar. I j just like, mm. yeah. It's not, though. It's just the slime. <laughs> Damn. to get rid of his erotica and start over a new leave. <laughs> Seriously, you're going to do something as reckless as that? Mm -mm. You would think it'd be easy just to get Monica, but I feel like everybody is going to go to Monica. Mm. 
There we go. <laughs> Well, that was easy, huh? Yeah, once again, you just start with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn, like seriously, who is going to clean up the town? <laughs> help though it's good ain't it let's start peckering This was a sweet episode. I mean, <laughs> the situation of everything of what happened. I, I really liked it. It had a very, like, mystery feel. As It's very similar to, like, the one episode, a couple... What episode was it? This is six. I think it was either three, four, or five. Um, it, it's, uh, it's the chick who's voiced by, um, I think it's Kana Hanazono. Um, and how she had her, <laughs> something was going on in the forest and we were all like wondering what the fuck it was. <laughs> that episode, it can be kind of feels towards that, really with the mystery aspect and stuff. But to know that it was just this slime type creature that was the night terrorizing people and possibly killing them, like, oh, what the heck? <laughs> You never know with this show. Like, <laughs> but the fact is, I love that Monica and um, Kuka, I think that's how you say her name, um, finally made an appearance. Monica was one of those, like, in season one when I did up to, what, the first six or seven episodes praying that she was going to make an appearance in season one. And then when I finished the rest of the series recently, a couple of weeks ago, um, before I started this... I was like, damn, she's still not in this yet. Like I said, there's still, once again, there's so many girls in this show slash series that, you know, you are praying for, you know, like one of your best girls or a girl that you like or several girls that you like to make an appearance. And when they finally make an appearance, you're like, oh my God, thank you, like the Zen. But I can't imagine like people who are just now getting into this series and such, whether you're watching season one and then season two, or you're just watching whatever, or you play the game first and then you watch it and you have like a best girl, because like me, even though I don't play this game anymore, I have so many. And you're praying for the time when they finally make an appearance and then you're just like, yes, she's here. Like when Peckering, when I finally saw my child in episode one for season one, I was just so freaking happy. The same thing with Carol and Kokoro because those three are like this. And you're just like, yes, when they're together with Yuki, it's 
Mwah. It's everything. But then also seeing, like, Yuki's former teammates who are, you know, officially dead in this version and such. But when you look at the game version, they're still alive in the game. You you still want them to be in this show, even though, like, yes, I said they're dead. You, you kind of wish, like, there's some shape of way for them that they could be featured in it besides being dead, in my opinion, because I just want my favorite Seiyu to voice her character. Please and thank you. That's all. Like, <laughs> this is now the, what, I think the second official show with her character being dead. Um, possibly, no, well, yeah, 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 like, at the beginning of the show, because the first, well, this would be the first show, and then the second show was that one idol show that I have not finished, and by episode two, they said her character died, and I was just like, why do I need to continue the show? <laughs> Like, give me a reason why <laughs> she's only in the first two episodes, and then you tell me she dies, and I'm like, what? And then my friend is over here like, no, DJ, continue the show, it's good. I'm like, but my best girl is dead. I have no reason to watch this show anymore. <laughs> but I think one day I'm probably going to finish it. I don't know when, though. <laughs> I really thought this is interesting. I love the fact that also Chris was featured back in this episode because Chris is one of those very um, interesting types of characters where, so, and I've always been like this towards Chris ever since I first saw her, mainly like in the game and then when I first got her card in my Japanese version. Chris is, she's, she's like a Switzerland type bitch. She is like, I'm not on your side, I'm not on your side, I'm on my side at the end of the day. She's very much that, like, independent bad bitch type character, almost like Fujiko Mine and a couple others, and one that I can think of because there's so many. Um, once again, where it's like, she, my side is the only way. My way, my way or the highway. And so, this is just Chris's world and we're all living in it. <laughs> and it's bad, like, it's so weird because I kind of want, like, one whole episode featured on her. Chris isn't one of my best girls, but I do like her and such. I'm all, like, anytime when she is, like, certain things that she says, I'm like, yes, bitch. Yes, I agree with you. I understand how you feel about this, this, that, and the third and such. Even though there are certain things that sometimes I don't really agree with her on, but because she is such a very interesting and different character, I'm like, yeah, I fucks with that bitch. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 6 of season 2 of Princess Connect. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 7. Bye, guys.